Hi. I had a call with a client the other day. His name is Jeremy. And at the end, he asked me, Tim, why do you do what you do? Why do you do your breath work, your exercise, your cold exposure? Why do you teach? And there's really only one answer to that. And I thought it's time to make a video about this. So this video is about the philosophy behind TT, Tim's techniques, um, my purpose. And then we will practice a few rounds of TT5 as well. All right, so the answer to that question is that I want to move to my upgraded version. I call this my human 2.0. Yeah, so 1.0 is little Tim and 2.0 is big Tim. Little Tim feels guilty and needs affirmations and compliments and stuff like that, doesn't feel good enough, things like that. It's a bit of a victim of life, you could say. Human 2.0 doesn't give a fill in your own word. He is clear on his purpose and he moves towards this. So this is my private agenda, right? And besides my private agenda, I have my universal agenda. And if my private agenda matches my universal agenda, I live with purpose or from purpose. So my private agenda is to grow from 1.0 to 2.0. My universal agenda is by doing this, I shine more, I have better energy and I can help other people to do exactly the same. And the ultimate goal is a new form of Homo sapiens, not 1.0, but 2.0. Yeah, humanity 2.0. So, you could say my universal agenda is to clean up the earth and to help people. And my private agenda is to have more time to be more orderly and a little bit less chaotic and um, to shine in life, very simply said. Now, these two clearly match because what I do for myself, I also teach to others. And this is why I'm very focused at this moment on teaching other instructors, breathwork instructors. And yeah, so TT breathwork instructors. Now TT stands for Tim's techniques and it's not only breathwork. So TT breathing consists of three techniques. I'm working on the fourth one, but the first one is TT energy. The second is TT calm. And the third one is TT DMT for DMT release. And I'm working on TT flow, which is amazing. Anyway. <clears throat> Tim's Techniques is not only um, breath work, it's like the big pillar is breath work, but apart from that, light exercise and cold exposure. So cold exposure can be an ice bath and it can be ending your shower cold. And you know, like you may ask yourself, what is the, how do I move from 1.0 to 2.0? And this is fairly simple. Every day, as a morning routine, what I prefer, you practice the holy trinity of the ultimate morning routine, which is exercise, breath work, and cold exposure. And so every day a little bit. So as much as two minutes exercise, minimally, you can do an hour if you want, or two or three or four, but a minimum of two minutes, five minutes of breathing, I would say TT5 or simplified TUMO. Five rounds takes five minutes. And then ending your shower cold, 30 seconds. So the idea behind this, I know you must think like, yeah, but that's so little, that's not gonna do anything. It does everything. And this is the idea behind it. If this is your 100% and you train 50%, say this is 50%, the, the two minutes, five minutes and 30 seconds, you do that consistently. So instead of intense training, you train light, but more consistent and you stretch up, you keep on practicing every day. And within no time, your hundred percent is stretching up. And before you know it, your 50%, say a month from now is your hundred percent now, because your hundred percent has grown to 200%. You know what I mean? You understand what I mean? Right? So the idea is to have consistency over intensity. 
rather train a little and do this more often than put, put too much on your list. I've met many people already who went to Tony Robbins and Tony is, is, uh, is advising a 45 minute morning routine. Well, honestly, if you are able to do that, that's great. You know, do more. But most people that went to Tony gave up their morning routine and feel even more guilty afterwards. Now, the minimum morning routine, two minutes exercise, five minutes breathing and 30 seconds ending your shower cold. If you want, you can do more, of course. But why does this work? It's because of this. We have ups and downs in our lives, right? And when everything is okay, you're healthy, um, your relationship is good, money is good, you have time, it's very easy to do an hour or, you know, I, I can do a four hour morning routine if I do my best. But when we have a dip, something is off, whether it's health or whether, whatever, we're here. This is where we give up our morning routine. And by actually doing that little bit, when you're in a low, this is where your highs become higher. Yeah, so instead of dipping for real, you dip a little and you go up and you move up and touch the sky. Now, uh, a good example of, of the, the light training is Mohamed Ali. You know, I, I watched a video about him and um, his competitors, the guys he was fighting, they saw him train and they were insulted because he doesn't train hard. He just plays around, but he does play around for 10 hours per day. And so starting up the day with a minimum morning routine is the way to grow from 1.0 to 2.0. This idea of humanity 2.0, I have already 15 years since I started breathwork. 15 years ago, I started with pranayama. Um, it's just such a strong feeling and I haven't been speaking about it for, you know, up, the last two years I'm speaking about this, this growing to humanity 2.0. I believe that this is the next evolutionary jump on this planet. So let me explain a little bit. We had two evolutionary leaps forward already. Yeah, number one was when single cell organisms went to multi-cell organisms. This was a big jump in our evolution. The second was when life went from water to earth. This was number two. And number three is where we start taking care of the planet instead of depleting it. And how is this done? By moving to a human 2.0. So when you do your morning routine, you know, you get all the private agenda things like better health, more toned body, um, uh, feeling more energy, being able to release stress in no time, things like that. This is all private agenda. But what is happening on the water is that your consciousness is growing. And this is what we need for humanity 2.0. And when we all help each other becoming better in breathing, clear up our crap and start to take care of other people, because this is what you ultimately do. If you feel good about yourself, your life is okay and everything, you know, money is good, relationship is good. You start helping out other people. This is also why I'm teaching other TT instructors at the moment. So, that race in consciousness, that you could say is my true purpose. Race in consciousness on planet Earth. And if we are doing this, so we're working on ourselves, you can do this for the private agenda, but in the meantime, you're working on the universal agenda, which is raising your consciousness. And with that, you raise the consciousness of your surroundings, especially when you start helping out other people with their breath. Please do so. Go to my videos and, and whatever you learn from it, you know, teach it to other people. If you want to be a real instructor, you can go to my website. I will put something in the info cards over there or over there. Uh, you can check that out as well. So, um, <coughs> I forgot what I wanted to say. Yes. So, raising consciousness. That's my true purpose. And how do I do that? By practicing and teaching exercise, breath work, and cold exposure.
That's my two cents in. And if you, you know, if I can be fluffy or woo woo at the moment um, for a moment, this is the way to peace on earth. Doing every day exercise, breath work, cold exposure, helping others to do so, raising our consciousness at a certain moment. We don't need wars or too much competition, and we will get peace on earth. Now, Let's practice. TT5, one round is one minute, five rounds is five minutes. Breathing nose in, mouth out, and fill up your whole torso. Yeah, so not only your chest, but belly and chest at the same time. Let's just do it. Breathe in, out, five in total. Now extra deep, everything out, and breathe in and hold for 10 seconds, hold it here, shoulders nice and low. And breathe out, long and slow, take 10, 20 seconds to breathe out everything. Bit tingling sensations or dizziness is normal. Round number two. Extra deep. Out everything. And breathe in and hold for 10. Hold it here. And breathe out. Simple, right? A bit this is normal, as I said. Five deep breath. Number three. Extra deep. Breathe out everything. Breathe in and hold. Hold it here, 10 seconds. Or 10 beeps. And breathe out. Five deep breath. Extra deep. Everything out. In and hold. Hold it here, shoulders nice and low. And breathe out. Five deep breaths. Last round. Extra deep and empty completely in and hold.
and breathe out. So let all the noise in my house and the beeping outside and the hammering, let it go. Let it make you go into a deeper form of meditation. Notice how you feel. You just went out of the head into your body. A very simple tool. And you can use this. It's just such a different five minutes of breathing. Isn't this amazing? And you can use this anytime. If you want to do this 10 times a day, go ahead. People use this to prepare for a sales meeting, you know, or a difficult but important client, or to kill boredom when you're sitting in the bus or in the train. Use it however you want. Check out the info card for if you want to become a breathwork instructor. And uh, let me know if you have a question by leaving a comment. Or if you really want to get a hold of me, you can go to my website and hit the WhatsApp button. And uh, please don't call me. I don't pick up. And please don't leave me long, long voice messages, but short text messages. And then I can maybe help you out with your breath. Or maybe you want to become an instructor. It's really the best job in the world. You get to breathe for yourself while guiding. And you're helping other people and making money with it. You know, to supply for your family. What more do you want? Anyway, enough for this video. Bit of a long one. But um, if you haven't subscribed for this channel, please do so. Because there's simply no reason not to. Right? Peace on Earth. <laughs>